Do you know how to add the form in Power Pages website using Dataverse? Hi, this is Priyanka Kumari from Noha Academy and here let me tell you step by step to add a form in Power Pages website. So first we need to take a real life scenario based on using a form in Power Pages website. Suppose a popular comedian is hosting a live comedy show in a large venue and the organizer want to efficiently manage the booking process for the audience. Instead of having a come to audience to fill out the registration form directly, they implement an online comedian registration form for seat booking. So there are so many advantages like convenience for attendees, efficient data collection, marketing insights, streamlined booking process. So here you can see that I have already created one demo of comedian registration form. So let me show you that how these form can be used and how these records can be stored in a data world. So first we need to enter some information. So let me take one example that is named Sakshi and uh, there is a phone number like this can be a 10 digit after I can enter a email address that is sakshigmail.com and after that I can select a city that is Delhi and preferred seat front row number of tickets one station request it can be nothing for now and let me select a age of Sakshi so I can select a age of Sakshi can be random so I can select this age and the registration date can be 13 December 2023 and I can hit social media and we click on submit. So here you can see our form of the record can be submit successfully and the message can be shown that submission completed successfully here. So let's move to the data verse that our record can be saved or not. We can see that record in a data verse. So move here. So here you can see our record of Sakshi and age, city, email address, how here, phone number, special request and we can say prefer seat and registration date all these records can be saved in a data verse and here you can see there is a column name specifically and their data can be shown here so this type of form can be used in a power pages platform to store the data in a data verse by using forms so let me take one demo to show you that how you can add a form in a data verse so here you can say i already take one ready-made template to show you to add a form in a power pages platform so i have to first add one page in which i have to add a form so i can click on a plus page after that i have give this form comedian registration form and i can take this start from blank and click on add here you can say our page can be created so let me add a form here i can click on this and here you can see that this can be a new form can be created. So I can click on this and here you can see that if you have to need a create a table and after that in table you need to create a form. So first we need to create a table. Yeah. So we have to move to create a table. So let me cross this before we creating a table in power pages platform here. One question arise that what is the data verse and what is the use of data verse in power pages platform? Basically data verse can be used to store the data or we can say information like a traditional database with additional benefits such as security features, analytics and automation. And there is a, another question that what is the requirement of data words. The basic requirement that existing data words is required in the environment to provision a power pages site. Basically, if I explain in others words, so if you want to create a power pages site or we can say to store a user information in power pages site, you need to have a data verse set up in your environment. So basically, I hope you all understand about the data works and what is the requirement of data work. So let's move to the practical to create a table in Power Pages site. So for creating a table, here you can see that there is so many options like styling, data, setup, 
for creating a table we click on date and here you can see there is a already one table can be created that is feedback and in this feedback table there is a so many of number of columns like regarding title rating comment source and etc and if you want to create a new row so click on new row and if you want to create a new column so click on new column here you can see there is a display name data type format behavior and if you want to that your column can be optional or we can say business recommended and the business required so click any option and after let me cross this and if you want to refresh your so you can refresh from here and if you want to add it a table properties so let me take one example so let me take a uh, change the name of the table that is feedback test and click on save so here you can see that a table name can be changed that is feedback test and here you can see there is a views basically views are used to display the records of data words in the power pages site and forms are used to enter the data in a data words by the user so now we have to move to create a table by clicking on plus add and clicking plus new table and here i can give a table name that is comedian registration and click on Save. So here you can see our new table can be created. So here you can see that our already one column created that is named name. And so let me create a new column. Click on new column, and here I can enter a email. After that, I have to choose a data type. Go text and click on email. And this field can be required. And after we click on save. Here you can see that our email address column can be shown here. So let me create another column. So click on new column and that is phone number. Phone number. So let me choose a data type after that. So click on text and click phone number and after we can click on save. And here you can see our phone number column can be shown here. So let me click new column to create another column and that is name is preferred setting. And we have to choose our data type that, that is choice. Basically, choice can be used to display a number of options in a drop down format. So, let me write some code so I can click on this. And after I write front, and let me add some other options like middle section. After that, there is a last option that is back, and click on save. And here you can say private setting can also be column can be created here and there I can create a last column that is age and that data type can be a date and time and we choose date only and after we click on save and the remaining columns you have to create it by your own very easily. So after creating all columns in a table we have to move form and let me create a new form in the form name that is comedian registration after that we click on create and here you can see a new comedian registration form can be created so let me add other fields so we click on add field after that here you can see there is so many fields like age city email address number of tickets phone number preferred settings registration date special requests so first we have to add some fields so we click on first phone number after that there is an email address and there is a preferred settings number of tickets special request registration date age city and after that there is a how here so here you can see are all the columns can be added so easily so let me click on name and here i can open this tab and here you can see there is a display option like table name that is name and here you can add it a table name so here you can see that if you want to change a single line of text in a plain text or we can see in auto numbers you can choose and if you want it your field can be optional or we can say business requirement and business requirement so here you can change also so let me cancel this and here you can see you can hide your label hide on phone or you can hide this column from the form you can lock this form and you can also read only format by clicking on this and there is a formatting 
like in this there is a one column formatting for now and there is a components here so you can add a components like rich text editor or a business card reader for now and uh, we have to go this side so here you can see there is a another display option of email address so there is a particular display options of the particular all columns here you can see so let me arrange the layout that i can show in the starting so i can drag this and go this after that we have to convert this one column tab into two columns so we need to first select this tab and let me choose a formatting column so i can select two columns and after that i can drag this four numbers to this side like this and uh, let me drag the city also first it can be like this and there is a preferred settings and the next is number of tickets here and uh, after that there is a special request and after there is a age come here and there is a registration date date and after how here come this side and let me hide this column first so we click on this column hide okay and uh, here you can see that our hide column so for now i can off this toggle so here you can see our column can be hide so easily and after that i can save and publish to this changes i have done in this form so this form we can be shown in the website so we have to move to the website page to see these changes in the website so after we have a next target to display a form in the website so we, we click on edit form after that we click on new form let me search a table name that is comedian registration this table and after that i can select this form and here you can see there is a more option like data on submit capture and attachment if we click on data so it creates a new record in our dataverse and on submit after submitting a form this message can be displayed that is your details has been successfully submitted and there is a capture also for anonymous users and also for our authenticated users and there is an attachment also for now we also we enable attachment is off and we also not use captcha for now and let me click on ok so here you can see our uh, fields can be shown here so for now we give a permissions also that who can see our form and who can submit the details of the for the event so we give the roles to the anonymous users for now and let me click on save and click on save this also and let me sync these changes after we preview also in the web browser here you can see our fields can be added so easily so let me show you demo that now you can enter our details in the dataverse also so let me enter the name like Prinka and there is a phone number I can enter random numbers and after I can enter my email address like Prinka at the rate gmail.com after let me enter my city that is Delhi sorry it can be a uh, small that can be Delhi and there is a preference middle section number of tickets three special requests it can be nothing for now sorry it can be a wrong spelling nothing and let me choose a date so i can choose the this and let me 2001 and my birthday will come at 4 my and let me select a registration date for now i can select 3 january 2014 and let me how i use get from social media and let me submit this and here you can say our message also the display like submission completed successfully now show that this data can be stored in a dataverse or not so let's move to the dataverse so here you can see our data can be recorded like name Prinka, my email address my phone number my preferred seats my age and my city number of tickets special requests and after that there is a registration date and where I should get this event information 
so here you can see our data can be stored in our data was so easy before we see the demonstrate of form in power pages platform using data was so here i already make one video of form using html in power pages so you can refer that video also in that playlist thank you for choosing knowhow academy as your source for it knowledge we are always here to help you navigate the tech world if you have any question don't hesitate to reach out it's been a pleasure sharing this information with you so stay curious and keep learning